the land that has given India its thalaiba and innumerable gems over years. Will it give India its first fit India quiz champion? It is the state of Subramanya Bharati, Tirupur Kumaran, Velu Nachir and Subramanya Siva. It is the state of F1 star, Karun Chando, one of India's most successful squash players, Deepika Palikal, and Grandmaster Vishwanath Anand is regarded as one of the greatest chess players. It is the land that cherishes its movies, stars and knowledge. Saying so, we welcome you to the Fit India Quiz Tamil Nadu edition presented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and Ministry of Education with Fit India mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is an initiative of the Government of India to celebrate and commemorate 75 years of progress of India and the glorious history of its people, culture and achievements. Fit India Quiz is the biggest Indian quiz on sports and fitness like none other. The Fit India Quiz provides an opportunity to students and schools to win cash prizes of rupees 3.25 crore and be the champion at state and national level. In the preliminary round, 36,299 students from 13,502 schools participated in the mobile-based test conducted by the National Testing Agency. Participation was from more than 626 districts across India. After the preliminary rounds, 360 schools will be participating in the state web rounds where they will be competing with the selected schools from their respective state or union territory to become state or union territory champion and represent their state or union territory in the national finals. Without any further delay, let's go to our virtual auditorium to meet our quiz master for today. Namaskar, warm greetings and welcome to Fit India Quiz Semi-Final Tamil Nadu Edition. Well, I am David Jyoti Das Gupta, your quiz master for the day. And it is now time for us to welcome all the teams here with us on screen. So welcome teams. And with this, it is now time for us to know a little better to all our teams. That is team one, team two, team three and team four. So starting off with team one, your introduction, please. Um, hello, my name is Nayak. And my name is Tarun. All right. Welcome to both of you. Well, before we move on, I would just want to know who is your favorite sports personality? Uh, my favorite sports uh, personality is uh, Mr. Tony. Mine is uh, All right. Thank you. Thank you to both of you. Moving on with our second team, Team 2. Please introduce yourself and help us know you a little better. Hi, I'm Amy Shadlan and I'm Harigun. Welcome to both of you. And which school you're representing? Second Education High Secondary School. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And what is your favorite sport? I like hockey. And I like hockey. Okay, great. Moving on to our third team, Team 3. Please introduce yourself. Hi, we are Team 3 from Vidya Mother at Estancia. Myself, Harshavadan K. And this is my teammate, Mukul Dashwan. Welcome to both of you. Well, please help me know who is a favorite sports personality. For me, it's Virat Kohli. For me, it's Kidambi Srikant. Perfect. Thank you so much to Team 3. Moving on ahead with the final team, Team 4. Please introduce yourself and help us know you a little better. Hello sir, I am B. Nitish Kumar and I am Danush B. and we are from Amartya Vidya and Mekti Patek Once again, welcome to both of you and what is your favourite sport by the way? So for me, it's MS Dhoni. Alright. And for me, it's badminton. Okay, great, great. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much and once again, welcome to all the teams 1, 2 and 3 and 4 to the semi-finals of Fit India Quiz Tamil Nadu edition. And let me tell you, students, that the top two scorers of this round will represent their school and the state at the state grand final. All right, so with this, it's now time for us to introduce our expert for the day, Mr. Amitav Dutta, who is our captain fit. May I please request you to join us, sir? Well, students, please welcome, sir, with a huge round of applause. Okay, thank you, Kujma sir. Thank you, sir. And also, my beloved children. So, uh, students, I am Captain Fit. And if you feel any difficulty, 
just you can opt for me i'll try to give my correct answer thank you well thank you once again to you sir uh, captain fit sir well students it is now time for us to move on ahead with the first round which is fitness kiddos aadha ghanta rose but before that let me also tell you apart from our expert captain fit you too have another two helpline which you can use at any point of time in the specific rounds which are head and tail wherein the two wrong options would disappear completely and the final and the third helpline which is toss the question which you can change your question or flip your question completely all right so students i'm sure that we are all ready to kick off with the first round that is fitness kiddos aadha ghanta rose but before that time for us to have a quick look at the rules fitness kiddos questions on yoga fitness and nutrition clockwise round direct question to each team the question will not pass correct answer will fetch 10 points and if lifeline is used correct answer will fetch 5 points no negative marking lifelines are available quiz master's decision is final All right so team 1 here comes the first question for the first round fitness kiddos aadha ghanta rose please look at your computer screen the practitioner of this particular yoga asana kneels with the buttocks on the inner arches of the foot stretches the arms forward with the hands outspread just off the ground and makes a facial expression with the mouth open wide and the tongue out to resemble a particular wild animal what is its name and your options are option a simhasana option b vashishthasana option c anantasana and option d dandasana and your time starts now team 1 sir we would like to choose option a option a which is simhasana all right let's see if that is the fit or an unfit answer team 1 Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, Team One, and you fetch ten points. Congratulations. With this, moving on to our next question, for Team Two. Here's a question on your computer screen. Lateral epicondylitis is a painful condition that occurs when tendons in your elbow are overloaded, usually by repetitive motions of the wrist and arm. What is the popular sporting name of this condition? Your options are A badminton elbow, B tennis elbow, C golf elbow and D hockey elbow. And your time starts now. Team 2. Option D hockey elbow. All right, so option D you have chosen option D hockey elbow. Well, let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Well, that is an unfit answer. The correct answer or the fit answer is b tennis elbow well never mind you still have time to redeem your points moving on ahead with the third question for team 3 let's have a look at what the question is on your computer screen what term is used to refer to a form of physical exercise in which a specific muscle group is deliberately flexed or stretched in order to improve the muscles felt elasticity and achieve comfortable muscle tone and your options are a stretching b squat c lunges option d none of the above and your time starts now option a stretching all right so you would go with option a stretching and let's check if this is the fit or an unfit answer absolutely fit answer congratulations team 3 you fetch 10 points Congratulations. Finally, moving on ahead with the fourth question in the first round and the final question in the first round. And here's your question on your computer screen. The term and the specific exercise method were developed by Dr. Kenneth H. Cooper and Colonel Pauline Potts, both of the United States Air Force. What is being spoken about? And your options are A aerobics, B calisthenics, C balance training D resistance I repeat the options once again A aerobics B calisthenics C balance training and D resistance and your time starts now The answer is option A aerobics All right so team 4 you are responding it to be option A aerobics and let's see if this is the fit answer 
Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, team, for and you managed to redeem your first point with 10 points. Congratulations, team, four. And with this, we end the first round, which is Fitness Kidos Adha Ghanta Rose. And it's time for us to slip into a short breather. But you stay tuned because on the other side of the break, we would reveal how the scoreboard look like and we will start off with the second round. Stay tuned. फिट इंडिया क्विज में देश के कोने कोने से भाग लेने वाले सभी विद्यार्थियों का मैं अभिनंदन करता हूं और आशा करता हूं कि आप सभी जी जान लगाएंगे जीतने के लिए खेलेंगे फिट इंडिया क्विज में भाग लेंगे और अपने विद्यालय परिजनों एवं राज्य का नाम रोशन करेंगे आपको ढेरों शुभकामनाएं जय हिंद जय भारत back after the break to the semi-final of Fit India Quiz Tamil Nadu edition presented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Ministry of Education with Fit India mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Fit India Quiz is the biggest Indian quiz on sports and fitness. And now it's the time for us to reveal the scores of the first round that was Fitness Kidos Adha Ghanta Rose. And Team 2 you're with zero points, but still due to redeem your points. And I hope you'll do that in the upcoming rounds. And team one, three and four, you are at 10 points respectively. Congratulations to all three teams. So are we all set for the second round, which is champion of champions? All right, if you're ready, let's have a quick look at the rules. Champions of champions. Questions on Indian sports personalities. Each clue on the buzzer. There will be three clues to guess the answer. Each clue will fetch 15, 10 and 5 points respectively. The question will not pass. Wrong answer will fetch minus 5 points. No additional lifelines for this round. Quizmaster's decision is final. Alright, so participants, I'm sure that you have jotted down the rules and it is now time for us to play the game which is the second round, champion of champions. But let me tell you, this is the buzzer round. Your fingers should be on the buzzer so that the moment you listen into the question, you answer them correctly and being very, very fast. And with this, the first question and the first clue for the first question is for 15 points. Let's have a look. She won the National Junior Championship three times in a row in 2012, 2013 and 2014 in her sports. The first clue for 15 points. I repeat, she won the National Junior Championship three times in a row in 2012, 2013, 2014 in her sports. Well, no one's responding. Let's see what is it in the second clue for 10 points. She is the first female Indian golfer to qualify for the Olympic Games. Second clue for 10 points. She is the first female Indian golfer to qualify for the Olympic Games. No one's responding. Let's look at the option three, which is uh, clue number three for five points. This is an image. You got to identify who the individual is. All right, team four, please answer. So the answer is Aditi Ashok. All right, let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, team four. You fetch five points. All right, moving on ahead with the second question and the first clue for 15 points here on your computer screen. She is the first woman for India to score a century in T20 international match. I repeat the question once again. The first clue for 15 points. She is the first woman for India to score a century in a T20 international match. And team four, you buzzed. Please answer. So the answer is Arman Preet Kaur. All right, let's see if that is the fit or an unfit answer. Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, team four. You fetch 15 points. Congratulations. The third question in the second round. And the first clue for 15 points here on your computer screen. She is the first amateur athlete 
to win the Padma Bhushan. For 15 points, first clue, she is the first amateur athlete to win the Padma Bhushan. No one's responding. Let's proceed ahead with the second clue for 10 points. Her autobiography is Unbreakable, was co-authored by Dina Serto. All right, once again, team four, let's hear what your answer is. So the answer is Mary Cole. All right, let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, team four. You fetch 10 points. And the third question. And now, the final question in the second round of Champion of Champions. And for 15 points, let's look into the first clue on your computer screen. In 2020, she was elected as President of the Paralympic Committee of India. First clue for 15 points, in 2020, she was elected as President of the Paralympic Committee of India. Let's see what is in for 10 points, the second clue. She is the first Indian woman to win a medal in Paralympic Games. Second clue for 10 points. She is the first Indian woman to win a medal in Paralympic Games. Alright, no one's responding. And the final clue for 5 points. Here's an image. Please identify the sports personality. Alright, team 4 again. Let's hear your answer. Sir, the answer is Deepa Malik. Alright, let's see if this is the fit answer. Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations. Many, many congratulations to you, team, for you fetch five points here. Alright, so with this, it is time for us to wrap up the second round, which is champion of champions. And it is time for us to slip into a short breather. But you stay tuned because on the other side of the break, we would reveal how the scoreboard looks like. And we'll continue with round three and round four. Stay tuned. Fit Rahna. उतना मुश्किल काम नहीं है जितना कुछ लोगों को लगता है फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज इस मंत्र में सभी का स्वास्थ्य सभी का सुख छिपा हुआ है We are back after the break to the semi-final of Fit India Quiz Tamil Nadu edition presented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Ministry of Education with Fit India Mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. And our Honourable Prime Minister of India could not have said in a better way how important fitness is in our life. Fitness ki doz, aadha ghanta roz. And with this, it's now time for me to share the scores with all our teams. Well, team two, was still due to open your account, which is uh, where you are at the moment is a zero point. Team one and two, three at 10 points respectively. And team four leading the scoreboard with 45 points. Congratulations. I repeat the scores once again. Team two at zero point. Team 1 and Team 3 at 10 points each and Team 4 at 45 points leading the scoreboard. Congratulations Team 4. Alright, moving on ahead with the third round which is named as Bharat Ke Khel. And before that, before we move on to the rules, I would just want to tell you that this is an anti-clockwise round. We would start off with Team 4, 3, 2 and 1 respectively and this is the round where you can avail your lifeline again. Alright, with this, let's have a quick look at what the rules are. Bharat Ke Khel Questions on traditional Indian sports 
anti-clockwise round. Direct questions to each team. No passing. Correct answer will fetch 10 points. And if lifeline is used, correct answer will fetch 5 points. No negative marking. Lifelines are available. Quizmaster's decision is final. And with this, it is now time for us to kick begin the third round. Bharat Kekel with Team 4. And your question for the third round, the first question on your computer screen. Well, Gushti is a traditional sport in Tamil Nadu. It's an art of dash. And your options are A, climbing, B, boxing, C, wrestling, and D, sword fighting. And your time starts now. Team 4. The answer, is, the answer is option C, wrestling. All right. So, Team 4 would like to choose option C, wrestling as an option. And let's see if that is the fit or an unfit answer. Well, that is an unfit answer. The correct answer is B, boxing. All right. Never lose your heart. Moving on ahead with the second question for Team 3. And here's a question on your computer screen. Which famous Indian writer wrote a short story named Gulli Danda in which he compares old simple times and emotions to modern values and all hints at caste inequalities in India? I repeat the question once again. Which famous Indian writer wrote a short story named Gulli Danda in which he compares old simple times and emotions to modern values and also hints at caste inequalities in India? And your options are A. Munshi Premchand, B. Harivansh Rai Bachchan, C. Mahadevi Verma, and D. Agye. And your time starts now. Option A. Munshi Premchand. Alright, so team 3 would like to choose option A. Munshi Premchand. Then let's see what is the fit answer. Well, absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, team 3. Moving on ahead with the third question and team two. Here's a question on your computer screen. Popular indoor game Bambaram involves a dash. Fill in the blank. A. Marbles. B. Beads. C. Flick top. And D. Robes. And your time starts now. Option D. Robes. All right. So team two would like to go with option D. Robes. And let us see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Oh, that's an unfit answer. Sorry for that, but never lose your heart. Keep trying. I'm sure you will fetch some good points towards the end. All right, so moving on ahead with the final question. Fourth question for team one in the third round. That is Bharat Kakel. And the question is on your computer screen. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, which polo trophy awarded in India is the tallest sports trophy in the world? And your options are A. Coronation Cup B. The Westchester Cup C. Queen's Cup and D. Kolanka Cup And your time starts now. You would like to use a helpline. Alright, you would like to use a helpline and what helpline would that be? Uh, Captain Fit. Alright, Captain Fit. So, Captain Fitzer, our expert for the day, Amitabha, sir, you are kindly requested to appear on the screen and help Team 1 to answer. Okay. Uh, thank you, Team 1, to get up for me. In my opinion, that is, Kolanka Cup, option D, will be the right answer, according to my opinion. All right. So, Team 1, what is your final answer? Option D, Kolanka Cup. All right, option D, Kolanka Cup. Let's have a look if this is a fit or an unfit answer. Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, Team 1. Many, many congratulations to you. And with this, we wind up the third round, which is Bharat Kekel. And it is time for us to proceed ahead with the fourth round, which is the final round. But before that, it is now time for us to slip into a short breather. Stay tuned. On the other side of the break, we have the scores and the final round, which is freestyle. Fit India quiz में देश के कोने कोने से भाग लेने वाले सभी विद्यार्थियों का मैं अभिनंदन करता हूँ और आशा करता हूँ 
कि आप सभी जी जान लगाएंगे जीतने के लिए खेलेंगे फिट इंडिया क्विज में भाग लेंगे और अपने विद्यालय परिजनों एवं राज्य का नाम रोशन करेंगे आपको ढेरों शुभकामनाएं जय हिंद जय भारत back after the break to the semi final of fit india quiz tamil nadu edition presented by ministry of youth affairs and sports ministry of education with fit india mission in celebration of azadi ka amrit mahotsav fit india quiz is the biggest indian quiz on sports and fitness and it is now time for us to announce the scores of the rounds that happened so far and with this team 2 was still at 0 team 1 at 15 points Team three at twenty point, and team four still leading the scoreboard with forty five points. Congratulations! <laughs> and with this, it is now time for us to kick begin the final round, which is a freestyle. And before that, let me tell you a bit about what the rule is all about. Well, there are twelve questions. and in case if anybody you think that you need to buckle up and score some points in this round this is the moment because there are 12 questions and this is a buzzer round so you got to ensure that you listen the question carefully keep your fingers on the buzzer buzz and answer correctly to fetch positive points and before we start off with the final round that is the freestyle the sign for us to have a quick look at what the rules are freestyle sports mixed bag questions 12 questions on the buzzer. Correct answer will fetch each team 10 points. Minus 5 for wrong answer after buzzer. No additional lifelines for this round. Quiz master's decision is final. And let's start off with the first question in the fourth round. This is freestyle. And teams, fingers on the buzzer. And here comes the first question in the fourth round. How many players are there on a rugby union team? I repeat the question once again. How many players are there on a rugby union team? And team 4. Your answer. So the answer is 15. All right, let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations team 4. And here comes your second question on your computer screen. Which is the oldest football tournament in India? Well, team 4 has buzzed once again. Let's hear your answer team 4. Team 4, please answer. Team 4, please answer. So the answer is Santosh Trophy. All right. So team 4 has answered Santosh Trophy. Let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. It's Duran Cup. It's an unfit answer. Anyway, not an issue. We'll proceed ahead with the third question. And the third question on your computer screen: What is the meaning of this gesture by a kabaddi referee? There is an image. You got to identify what the signs are. What is this gesture? And team two has passed. What is your answer, team two? Review. Team two, you're not audible. Review. Team two, you are not audible. Could you please repeat again? Review, review. Review. All right. Let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Well, this is an unfit answer. The fit answer is timeout or temporary suspension. Anyway, moving on ahead with the next question. And students, your eyes on the computer screen. Here comes the next question. Question number four. After certification of a school, what Fit India assets can they use? Teams, I repeat the question once again. After certification of a school, what Fit India assets can they use? No one's responding. Let's see what is the fit answer. It's Fit India logo and the flag. Proceeding ahead with the question number five. Here's on your computer screen. Identify this swimming stroke. Team two, please answer. Butterfly stroke. 
But let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Well, this is the side straw. Unfit answer. Anyway, moving on ahead with the next question. Question number six. Here comes the question number six on your computer screen. What is the name of Abhinav Bindra's autobiography? I repeat again. What is the name of Abhinav Bindra's autobiography? And team two, please answer. Gold. Gold. Well, let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Well, this is an unfit answer. The fit answer is a shot at history, my obsessive journey to Olympic gold. Anyway, moving on ahead with the seventh question on your computer screen. What is the term related to basketball represented here? Team 4, please answer. Sir, the answer is dunk. Alright, the answer is dunk and let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. Oh, that is an unfit answer. It's slam dunk is the fit answer. Anyway, moving on ahead with the next question, question number eight. And here's on your computer screen. In billiards, an illegal shot attempt where the cue is used to shove the cue ball after it has made contact with the object ball is called dash. Fill in the blank. I repeat the question once again. In billiards, an illegal shot attempt where the cue is used to shove the cue ball after it has made contact with the object ball is called dash. Fill in the blank. No one's attempting. Let's see what the fit answer is. It's push shot. Moving on with the next question, question number nine, here on your computer screen. What is 45? Where is uh, 4538 Vishanan? I repeat the question. What is 4538 Vishanan? No one's trying. Let's proceed with the fit answer. A minor planet named after Vishwanathan Anand. I hope this is something which is very new to you and you would remember this answer. The answer to 4538 Vishanan. A minor planet named after Vishwanathan Anand. Moving on ahead with the next question, question number 10 on your computer screen. The tallest player in a basketball team plays in which position? The tallest player in a basketball team plays in which position? No one's answering. Let's see what is the fit answer. Center. All right, so the next question, question number 11, second last question in the final round, which is freestyle and question number 11 on your computer screen. In athletics, a race in which members of each team take turns completing parts of the race is known as what? Team one, please respond. A relay race. Okay, let's see if this is the fit answer. Absolutely fit answer. Congratulations, team one. And now comes the final question in the final round, which is freestyle. Teams, all of you really got to buckle up. You got to pull your sleeves up and press all the buzzer. I want to see, I actually want to see all of you buzz in this question. Anyway, moving on with the final question. Question number 12 on your computer screen. The first ever race course in India was set up in Chennai. Name the race course. Well, team three, please answer. In Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium. Well, let's see if this is the fit or an unfit answer. It's Gindi race course. It is an unfit answer. The fit answer is Gindi race course. Anyway, with this, we come to the end of this episode with the fourth round, which is freestyle. Our participants have performed exceptionally well, but the scores are still due. We will slip into a short break, but you stay tuned because on the other side of the break, we would reveal who are the top two scorers 
who have qualified to represent their school in the state. Stay tuned. लाइफ में चैलेंजेस कभी भी और कहीं भी आ सकते हैं और हम इनका अच्छे से तभी सामना कर सकते हैं जब हम तैयार हों इनको फेस करने के लिए हम अगर हेल्दी और फिट हैं तो हमारी तैयारी और भी बेहतर हो जाती है बस जरूरत है थोड़ी सी मेहनत थोड़े से अनुशासन की प्रेजेंटिंग फिट इंडिया मोबाइल ऐप आपका फिटनेस गाइड और पर्सनल हेल्थ ट्रेनर पहली बार अब भारत का हर एक नागरिक अपना फिटनेस कोर पता करके जान पाएगा कि वो कितना फिट है आप अपनी आयु के अनुसार अपने फिटनेस कोर की जांच कर सकते हैं ये सुविधा खास आपके लिए पहली बार शुरू की जा रही है ये ऐप आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को ट्रैक कर सारा डेटा स्टोर करता है ताकि आप अपनी प्रोग्रेस देख सकें और फिट रहने के नए और आसान नुस्खे अपना पाए इस ऐप के साथ आप बन सकते हैं खुद के फिटनेस मास्टर उसके बाद हम आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को बनाने में आपकी मदद करेंगे फिटनेस की दुनिया में कदम रखें मोटिवेटेड रहें और अपडेटेड रहें और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि इन सारी सुविधाओं का लाभ आप पा सकते हैं एकदम फ्री बस अपने एंड्रॉइड और एप्पल डिवाइस पर हमारे ऐप का हिंदी और इंग्लिश वर्जन डाउनलोड करें और शुरू हो जाइए आपका फिट रहने का सपना अब है एक क्लिक दूर फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज We are back after the break to the semi-final of Fit India Quiz Tamil Nadu edition presented by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Ministry of Education with Fit India Mission in celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Before we move on to see the scores, let me just remind you that you too can download the Fit India app from the Play Store and App Store and be fit every minute, every day. And now we move on to that part of the episode which the audience is eagerly waiting for. the fit india daily quiz question the process to participate in this quiz is very simple i will ask one question related to sports and fitness here all you have to do is to log into fit india mobile app and answer the question in the fit india daily quiz section the user who gives the correct answer in the fastest time will win a fit india merchandise also some of the lucky winners will stand a chance to be in the grand finale of the fit india quiz just download or update the fit india mobile app which is india's most comprehensive fitness app offering features like generating your fitness score customized diet plans steps tracker calorie tracker sleep tracker and much more and the biggest advantage is that you can use all of these features for absolutely free which is being only offered by fit india mobile app So now moving on with the audience question. So here's the question for our audience watching this episode. Which famous Indian filled it for the Pakistan cricket team in exhibition match in 1987? I repeat the question, which famous Indian filled it for the Pakistan cricket team in an exhibition match in 1987? And your options are A Sachin Tendulkar, B Rahul Dravid, C Saurav Ganguly and D Zahir Khan. And it is now time for us to reveal the top two scorers who have qualified for the finals. Well, team two, you are at minus fifteen points. Team three at fifteen points. Team one at twenty-five points, and team four leading the scoreboard with forty-five points. Congratulations! A hearty and a very very big congratulations to team one and team four as you qualify to play the finals. Many many congratulations! And with this, we come towards the end of uh, the semi-final of Fit India Quiz Tamil Nadu edition. A big thank you to the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and Ministry of Education for giving all of us and especially the children of India the opportunity to be on a platform like this. This is me, Devi Jyoti Das Gupta, signing off from today's episode. But you do not forget the magical mantra that is fitness kiddos, aadha ghanta rose. Thank you.